The spool housing consists of the plastic upper spool housing, the metal drive shaft, and the lower shaft bearing. Over time, the plastic housing will wear down with use. The notches that accept the cap can break. The drive shaft can be bent. The bearing will wear out over time. Replacing the spool housing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the adjustable handle from the trimmer. To remove the handle, I'll press the button that you normally press when you adjust the handle and insert a metal rod through the hole in the opposite side to push the internal plunger. Now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Two of the screws are located underneath the sticker. You'll need to locate those screws, cut through the sticker, and then you can remove them. Also on the top, you'll need to cut through this sticker. Then I can separate the two halves of the housing. Now I can pull the shaft away from the housing, remove the gear, and set it back into the housing. The reason I need to open the tool up to work on the lower end of the shaft is because during reassembly, when I go to align the shaft with the gear, they won't line up without accessing this area. Next, I'll remove the cap and spool. Now I'll remove the anti-rotation screw. And loosen the clamp screw. Next, I can pull the shaft away from the housing. And this will give me access to the connection between the flexible cable and the spool housing. I'll put a wrench on the flat spots on the cable and unscrew the cable. With the connection loosened, I can go ahead and remove the cable. Now I can remove the spool housing. I'll use the edger wheel to prop this assembly up so the spool housing is sitting away from the table. Then I'll place a small socket on the end of the spool housing shaft and use a mallet to tap it free. And now I can install the new spool housing. I'll align it with the bearing housing and press it into place. And now I'll reattach the cable to the spool housing shaft. And I'll install the shaft 
back into the bearing housing. Reinstall the anti-rotation screw. And I'll tighten up the clamp screw. And I'll reinstall the spool and spool cap. Now I'll reinstall the drive cable into the drive gear. And align the shaft with the housing. I need to make sure that I align this tab with the housing so it can slide back and forth. And now I'll reinstall the cover. The plunger has a couple of tabs inside that need to align with the plunger on the opposite side. I'll rotate it around until they engage and I can squeeze the two plungers together. And I'll begin retightening the screws. And I'll finish by reinstalling the adjustable handle. And that's how easy it is to replace the spool housing on your trimmer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.